Welcome to the annual Marion Medal Awards Ceremony of the Diocese of Fall River. The ceremony takes place in our diocesan cathedral, the Cathedral of St. Mary the Assumption, located in Fall River. This is indeed a joyous occasion in the life of the Fall River Diocesan Church. Bishop Edgar M. de Cunha will bless and present Marian medals to parishioners from across the diocese, one from almost every parish, in recognition of their dedicated service to the church. Now the Marian medalists are processing into the cathedral. In all, 79 laymen and women will receive the Marian Medal, representing parishes from throughout southeastern Massachusetts, Cape Cod, and the islands of Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket. They have been nominated for this award by their pastor. The blessing and presentation of the Marian Medals takes place in the context of evening prayer and Eucharistic adoration and benediction, which will be led by Bishop de Cunha. In 1968, Bishop James Connolly established the tradition of the Marian Medal. In the years since, thousands of deserving laymen and laywomen have received this venerable diocesan medal for dedicated service in a variety of charitable works, ministries, and parish programs. Made of sterling silver, the medal is embossed with the image of Our Lady of the Miraculous Medal with the Latin inscription translated as, O Mary, conceived without sin, pray for us who have recourse to thee. Below the image is the date 1830, which designates the year of the apparition of Our Lady to young Sister Catherine Laboray, then a novice with the Daughters of Charity. Canonized in 1947, St. Catherine Laboray was given the mission by the Blessed Mother to bring the miraculous medal to the world, to remind people of the love and protection that Our Lady continually offers to God's children. The reverse side of the Mary medal carries the coat of arms of the Fall River Diocese. Joining the recipients here at the cathedral are members of their families, their friends and fellow parishioners, along with their pastors and members of the diocesan clergy, who are now processing into the church. Our music is provided by the Fall River Diocesan Choir, led by Madeline Grace, who is also our organist. Our cantor is Elizabeth Heath. Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. God the Holy Spirit, have mercy on us. Holy Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. Holy Mary, pray, pray for us. us. Holy Mother of God, pray for us. Pray for us. Queen.
who takes away the sins of the world, graciously hear us, O Lord. Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, it is with great joy that we gather together here today in our beautiful cathedral dedicated to Our Lady of the Assumption to confer the Marian Medals on these distinguished members of our diocese who have served the church with love and fidelity. We thank God for their services and we turn our hearts to him now to invoke his blessing upon us all. Let us pray. Lord our God, in your loving plan of redemption, you chose the Blessed Virgin, your lowly handmaid, to be the mother and companion of Christ, your Son. Grant that by constantly looking up to her, we may give you wholehearted service and in tireless care for the salvation of the world. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. We will now bless the medals that will be given to those being honored here today. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name, your name, O Lord. You are the font of every blessing, and you look with delight upon the devout practices of the faithful. Draw near, we pray, and in your name, we bless these Marian medals as your sons and daughters receive these symbols of faith and devotion. Grant them your grace as they continue to strive to be transformed into the likeness of Christ your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. From the Attleboro Deanery, St. Vincent de Paul Church, Attleboro, Mr. Jose Acevedo. St. Mary's Mansfield, Mrs. Elizabeth Johnson. St. Mark's, Attleboro Falls, Mr. Anthony J. Karpinski, Jr. Our Lady of Mount Carmel, Seekonk, Miss Corinne Lupoli Joyce. St. John the Evangelist, Attleboro, Miss Jean McDonald. Sacred Heart, North Attleboro, Mr. Herbert McAvoy. St. Mary's Norton, Mrs. Laura Virgao. St. Mary's North Attleboro, Mr. John Vigorito. From the Cape Cod Deanery, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, North Falmouth, 
Mr. Paul Carney. Corpus Christi East Sandwich, Mrs. Lisa Chalk, being received by her husband, Stephen. St. Peter Apostle, Provincetown, Mrs. Fran Coco. Our Lady of Lords, Wellfleet, Mrs. Barbara Cormier. St. Margaret's, Buzzards Bay, Mrs. Jovina Winna Santos Dean. Good Shepherd Vineyard Haven, Mr. Valerio L. De Stephanie. St. Anthony's East Falmouth, Mr. Michael J. Donnelly. Holy Trinity West Harwich, Mr. Hugh Drummond. St. Patrick's Falmouth, Mr. John Fuller. Our Lady of the Assumption, Osterville, Mr. James Hines. Our Lady of the Cape, Brewster, Miss Anne Fusco Lemaitre. Christ the King, Mashpee, Mr. James Livingston. Our Lady of Victory, Centerville, Mrs. Barbara Murphy. St. John the Evangelist, Pocasset, Mr. George Pereira. St. Pius X, South Yarmouth, Mrs. Dorothy R. Scarlett. St. Mary, Our Lady of the Isle, Nantucket, Mr. Eric Wendelkin. And Holy Redeemer, Chatham, Mrs. Monica Witte. From the Fall River Deanery. From Santo Cristo, Fall River, Mrs. Maria Helena Botello. From St. Bernard's, a sonnet, Mr. Antonio Branco. From St. George, Westport, Mr. Daniel Cunha. From Holy Name, Fall River, Mr. Paul Doran. From St. Patrick, Somerset, Mr. Patrick Finglas. From St. Louis de France, Somerset, Mrs. Alice Garvin. From St. Dominic's, Swansea, Mrs. Joyce Elizabeth Jandro. From St. Stanislaus, Fall River, Mr. Jan Grigiel. From St. Joseph, Fall River, Mrs. Rita Guidotti. From St. Anne's, Fall River, Mr. Augustine Medeiros. From St. Thomas More, Somerset, Mrs. Anne Marie Menard. From St. Francis of Assisi, Swansea, Mr. Manuel Miranda. From Espirito Santo, Fall River, Mrs. Helena Pacheco. From Good Shepherd, Fall River, Mrs. Aida Rees. From Holy Trinity, Fall River, Mrs. Monique Robinet. From St. Mary's Cathedral, Mr. Jose Sobrino. From St. Michael's Fall River, Mrs. Donatilde Souza. From Our Lady of Grace, Westport, Miss Aurelia Souza. From St. Anthony of Padua, Fall River, Miss Urania Tabicas. From St. John of God, Somerset, Mr. Carlos Tavares. And from St. John the Baptist, Westport, Mr. Robert Tripp. From the New Bedford Deanery, from St. Anthony of Padua, New Bedford, Mrs. Anna Alderondo. From Our Lady of Mount Carmel, New Bedford, Mr. Antonio Bagana. From St. Mary's Fair Haven, Mr. Lawrence Bizarro. From St. Joseph, St. Therese, New Bedford, Mrs. Suzanne Ghent. From St. Patrick's Wareham, Miss Patricia Grenda. From Our Lady of Guadalupe, New Bedford, Mrs. Rosalina Jovell. From St. John Neumann, East Freetown, Mr. John LaRonda, Jr. From St. Anthony's Matapoiset, Mrs. Catherine Levine. From Our Lady of the Assumption, New Bedford, Miss Sedalia Lopes. From St. Mary's, New Bedford, Mr. Michael McCormick. From Our Lady of Fatima, New Bedford, Mr. Michael K. McDermott. From St. Julie Billiard, North Dartmouth, Mr. William O'Neill. From St. Rita Marion, Mr. Joseph E. Paiva. 
from Our Lady of Perpetual Help, New Bedford, Mrs. Dorothy Ronka. From St. Francis of Assisi, New Bedford, Mrs. Therese Marie Souza. From Immaculate Conception, New Bedford, Mr. Edward Souza. From St. Mary's, South Dartmouth, Miss Carol Sylvia. From the Holy Name of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, New Bedford, Miss Sharon Vieira. From the Taunton Deanery, from St. Nicholas of Mira, North Dighton, Miss Lois M. Actelik. From Immaculate Conception, North Easton, Miss Kathleen A. Bendixson. From Holy Cross, South Easton, Mr. Kevin Brennan. From St. Jude the Apostle, Taunton, Mrs. Jean DeRocher. From St. Andrew the Apostle, Taunton, Ms. Kathleen Duart. From Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, Brazilian Apostolate in Taunton, Mr. Gabriel Lecho. From Annunciation of the Lord, Taunton, Mrs. Jeanette Marie Page. From Holy Family, East Taunton, Mr. Thomas P. Quinn. From St. Anne's, Raynham, Mrs. Beverly Vargas. From St. Therese of the Child Jesus in South Attleboro, Mrs. Mary Irene Vincent. From Our Lady Queen of Martyrs in Seekonk, Mrs. Helen Keogh. From St. Joan of Arc in Orleans, Mrs. Jean Clark. From St. Lawrence Martyr in New Bedford, Mrs. Harriet Servais. From St. Francis Xavier in Akushnet, Mrs. Anne Medeiros. Stretch forth his mighty scepter from Zion, and he will reign forever. Alleluia. The Lord will stretch forth his mighty scepter from Zion, and he
the earth is shaken to its depths before the glory of your face. The earth is shaken to its depths before the glory of your face. When Israel came forth from Egypt, Jacob's sons from an alien people, Judah became the Lord's temple, Israel became his kingdom. The sea fled at the sight, the Jordan turned back on its course, the mountains left like Was it sea that you fled, that you turned back Jordan on your course? Mountains that you leapt like rams, hills like yearling sheep. Tremble, O earth, before the Lord, in the presence of the God of Jacob. in 
the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all encouragement, who encourages us in our every affliction so that we may be able to encourage those who are in any affliction with the encouragement with which we ourselves are encouraged by God. The whole creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. The whole creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. Eternal ages praise the greatness of your glory. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The whole creation proclaims the greatness of your glory. The highest honor bestowed on members of the military service is the Congressional Medal of Honor, given to members who have distinguished themselves by acts of valor and great courage. It recognizes valor and bravery in action above and beyond the call of duty. The other great honor bestowed on civilians is the Medal of Freedom that is given to those who made a especially meritorious contribution to the security of our nation, to the peace of the world, to cultural and other significant public or private endeavors. So those are the Medal of Honor and the Medal of Freedom. Now the medal we're giving out here tonight maybe a little less honorable, or maybe doesn't have the same weight as these two medals bestowed by our country. But I don't think it's really less important for those of you who are receiving here today. The Marian medals are given to members of our parishes for their dedicated service to the church. I hope you feel honored here today, and I hope you know how grateful we are for your generous service to the church. You may be the, smart, the smartest people in the Diocese of Fall River. But that's not why you are being honored here today. Or you could be the richest people in our diocese. But that's not why you are here today. You are here today because you have discovered the beauty, the value, the joy, of serving the church and of helping other people. You are here because you heard the Lord's invitation to you to share your gifts and your talents for the service of the church in your particular parish community. You have heard the voice of the Lord telling you 
give, and it will be given to you. In these difficult times in which we are living, I am encouraged by the goodness, the faith, the generosity of people like you. We heard in this beautiful passage of the letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians, giving thanks and praise and blessing to God because of his encouragement, his compassion and understanding to us. And he gives us that encouragement so that we can do good and then we can encourage others to do good as well. In these two verses of St. Paul's letter, he uses the words encourage or encouragement five times. Encourage. If you think of that word, to encourage is me to put in some courage, to give some courage what, where it might be lacking to uplift, to inspire, to motivate, to spur on, to stir up, to stimulate, invigorate, energize, revitalize, embolden, fortify. These are good words, aren't they? Courage is the quality of a confident character not not to be afraid or intimidated easily but without being incautious or inconsiderate that's the courage god gives us and he asks us to pass on when we look at the four cardinal virtues and we have um, Prudence, justice, temperance, and the courage or fortitude, depending on the version you look at. And that virtue of fortitude of courage is described in the catechism as is the moral virtue that ensures firmness in difficulties. Not giving up, right? Not throwing the towel, not turning back a constancy in pursuit of what is good. It strengthened the resolve to resist temptations and to overcome obstacles in the moral life. The virtue of fortitude and courage enables one to conquer fear and to face trials and persecutions. It disposes us even to renounce and sacrifice one's own life in defense of a just cause. That is the encouragement and the courage St. Paul is reminding us today. Sometimes when you are in the dark place you may be thinking you've been buried, but actually you've been planted. Think about it. Many times we feel in a very dark situation or moment of our lives and we think we've been buried and we have just been planted so that the new life will sprout will grow, will blossom, and bear fruit. Yes, we are here today. And you, my friends and dear honorees, you are here today because you discovered the joy, the beauty of serving, of doing good for others. We live in a very difficult and challenging times. The role of God, of faith, 
religion is becoming less relevant to some people, especially some of the younger generations. Many have become more self-centered and less concerned with the good and the well-being of others. When God and faith and religion are put apart of our lives, we become more self-centered. It becomes all about us. What is in it for me? What am I going to get it? If we take a, take a closer look at all the evils in the world, we will find out that at their root is selfishness. Where there is love, there is no room for selfishness. And where, the, where is, there is selfishness, there is no room for love. Love opens our hearts to acts of generosity and of serving and doing good for others. Love moves us to desire to do good for others and to make the lives of others better and to make this world a better place. Someone once said that the moment we think only of ourselves and do not care about what happens to others, we have no right to be here. Today, <clears throat> the church throughout the world celebrates the second World Day for the Poor, established by Pope Francis last year. A day in which we are asked to reflect on Jesus' great love for those who are in need, those less fortunate. A day to encounter our brothers and sisters in need and to work alongside them to put our faith in action. That's exactly what have brought you here. You have put your faith into action and have made a difference and have done something to make this world better. The theme for this world of the poor that Saint Francis, Pope Francis called it for this year is this poor man cried and the Lord heard him. We are told in the first place that the Lord listens to the poor who cry out to him. No one should feel excluded from the Father's love especially in a world that often presents wealth as the highest goal and encourages self-centeredness. In his message for the World Day of the Poor, Pope Francis said that many people encountered the warmth of a home, the joy of a festive meal, in the solidarity of those who wish to sit together at table in simplicity and fraternity. And he said, I would like this year's and all future world days to be celebrated in a spirit of joy and discovery of our capacity for togetherness praying together as a community and sharing a meal on Sunday as an experience that brings us back to the earliest Christian community. So my friends, I want to encourage each of you here today, those of you who have received the Marian Medal, and those of you who have come to accompany your friends, your relatives, who are honored here today, I encourage you to continue your generous service to God's people. 
to continue your service to your parish, to our diocese, and to the church. I want to encourage you and all others to discover Christ in those who are the most needed, to discover the joy of serving and of doing good for others, and the joy of dedicating our lives, our gifts, our talents to make a difference and to make this world a better place. Thank you for all that you have done and for all that you will continue doing. Thank you for sharing your gifts and your talents and your faith and put it, your faith into action. Thank you for who you are. You are a gift to the church. And for that, we say thank you. God bless all of you.
Jesus Christ, you gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Together let us pray the divine praises. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name, blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus, blessed be his most sacred heart, blessed be his most precious blood, blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar, blessed be the Holy Spirit of the Consul, blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary most holy, Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, the most chaste spouse. Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints.
just before we close with the final blessing, I want to take this opportunity to thank everyone for being here today. I want to thank all the priests who recommended the, our honorees for, to receive the Marian Medal. I want to uh, thank them for their presence here today to support the work that we do. I want to thank all the deacons, the seminarians who have been here. I want to thank the choir for helping us pray here today with the beautiful song. And I want to thank everyone involved in planning for this beautiful celebration. And to all of you who have been honored here today, may the Lord continue guiding and blessing you so that your example may inspire, encourage, motivate others to continue putting their gifts and talents to the service of the church. God bless you and your families. May he give you many years of good health to continue enjoying life and serving others. And as we approach this beautiful time of thanksgiving, what a, what a way to kind of open the, the week of thanksgiving with this celebration here today. A way to say thank you for the work that we do and the service you provide. So as we celebrate Thanksgiving this year, let us remember also those less fortunate than we are. And let us ask the Lord for his blessing, his grace, that we can continue helping one another and building up the church here in our beautiful diocese of Fall River. God bless all of you and a happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Let us pray. Lord our God, through your power and goodness, the blessed virgin, the fairest fruit of your redeeming love, shines forth as the perfect image of the church. Grant to your people on their pilgrim way on earth that with eyes fixed on Mary, they may follow closely in the footsteps of her Son until they come to that fullness of glory which they now contemplate in his mother with hearts filled with joy. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit come down upon all of you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.